Welcome back to the channel. We are just off the spur, just pulled into the parking lot here. We've got somebody that needs a jump start. So um, I thought it'd be a good time to uh, bring to you guys the Gulu GTX 280. What better time to try it out is right now when somebody needs a jump start, so. Hi guys. Hi. How are you? Hi. Better if you had a, a jump start, right? Yeah. Oh no. Did it just die on you going down the road, or? No, no. what it was, uh, we, I jumped it off uh, when we left, the, uh, when we was leaving the house. Yeah. And uh, I cut it off uh, a couple of times, and it fired right back up. Yeah. And then we got up here, and I cut it off, and it, it, won't, it won't do nothing. It won't do a thing. I guess we need a battery, right? Yeah, the battery's about, well, three and a half, four years old. I guess the battery's probably mm -hmm. shot a so. We'll see if, uh, are the keys in it? Hopefully it'll yeah. start up for us if you want to give her a... Okay, and is O'Reilly's... O'Reilly's is, now there's Advance, O'Reilly's, AutoZone, there's all three of them, and they're right on Wares Valley Road, so you can't miss them. They're all within a block of, apart. Uh, and any of those will put a battery in, especially something like that's an easy one. They'll put it in for free if you're buying it from them. But hopefully the alternator's okay. And oh, I, oh, I hope so. Yeah, I, it looks like it's going to be so. It was my birthday Sunday, and my sister got us a cabin. Well, happy birthday! Yeah, it's not just Sunday. Seventy percent ready. Yeah, I, it looks like it's going to be a, yeah, I would head straight over there to, to the park store. They should be able to get you uh, Are they open? I think, I believe they're open until nine o'clock. I want to oh, say. Yeah, we call AAA. AAA leave you sitting over here. Well, they should, uh, should be somebody there about 45 minutes. Yeah. Uh, we said they're a little over an hour. We, no. call, we call back and that's oh no honey, it'd be about three o'clock in the morning before we see. <laughs> three o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Oh that's my goodness. Well, I don't think I'm gonna see it here at three o'clock in the morning. Uh, not. That doesn't sound like something I'd want to do. Three o'clock in the morning would be a would be a bad deal. It'd be a long time to sit here. Yeah, it, it's just gonna need a new battery, it looks like. Hopefully you can get over there and uh, we'll get you this receipt made up and AAA will reimburse. Just just submit that receipt to them. Okay. They'll make sure they'll get your money back for that. But let me go get this receipt for you. Okay. Yeah, I was telling I was telling your husband they'll AAA will reimburse for that. So Okay guys, uh, back here in the shop. Wanted to go over that gulu again. Uh, you see see we done uh, we do quite a few jump starts here in the area. Um, and I know it I mentioned when we did the gulu giveaway. Uh, the last go around, it's it's very important, guys. Um, you know that was uh, that was a couple they were here visiting, uh, trying to get to their cabin. Batteries uh, down. If they'd have had uh, a jump a jump box, a Gulu jump box, any jump box uh, with them, they would have uh, they would have been able to get that car started and, and get back on their on their vacation. But uh, it is very important to have those things, and and we like the Gulu brand. They've treated us very well. It's hard to find stuff that. Uh, that will last these days and be able to, uh, to do what you need it to do. But we are excited to announce that, uh, yeah, this is the newest addition to our toolbox, was that uh, GTX 280. And like I said, guys, just a really cool, really cool box. It's got the heads up display on it. Um, it's gonna give you all the information that you need for that battery readout or whatever you're trying to charge. My thinking with the GTX 280 is that uh, you can have just a normal jump box, and you know it might fit your needs. You might just want uh, the uh, just something that's just going to jump start and, and take care of your battery, or you could get this big beast here that uh, will do everything. Um, this one's got uh, ports for for all of your charging needs. So not only will it jump start your car and get you out of a crazy situation, still has that nice uh, that nice light on there. 
so you can do the uh, the SOS and uh, be safe for for the road. You know, you can place that down on your on your car, and uh, it's going to flash, keep traffic off of you, or just be able to see what you're doing. So it's got all of the USB options in there with it to charge. So you know, if you're on vacation, you need your laptop charged up. You're on vacation, you need your drone charged up. You're trying to hook up your little mini fridge. Um, I mean, there's there's just a ton of things. Like I said, and if you're if you need to jump start, it's, it's there for you. It will do that jump start. But uh, why not have something that will do everything? But like I said, it's got that heads up display, 12 volt battery outputs. It's got the DC port. Uh, it's 150 watt max. Uh, it's got the cigarette lighter, USB. Uh, one and two outlets. It's got the C1. It's got the boost button, LED lights. Um, it's it's just a really compact, do everything that you would need it to do. It's got the C2 port on it as well. What I really liked about this guys was this is really cool. It, 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 they give you all the cords. Um, you're going to get all the charging cables that you could possibly need. The uh, USBs and C's and the little ones. They even give you a, a really cool little clip. Hang that thing up, uh, whether you're trying to use it for the light or whatever. Um, also, this is really cool. So, plug that in to the Gulu pack and it's going to come out and it's going to give you that uh, that plug-in. So you can plug in your laptop, charge your, your batteries on whatever batteries you're trying to charge up. Um, it, you know, it gives you gives you a nice uh, option there for that too. So, but built very well. It was very user friendly, guys. So I just went up to the car and positive, negative, and instantly you can see the screen powered up and it says ready. It's ready to go. Uh, you know, I didn't have to do anything other than that. So that worked very well. Like I said, guys, I mean, you're always looking for something that's going to last. And for me, I try to give you guys the information that you might need as far as uh, what's going to, what treats us well uh, for what we're doing. And we hope that it, uh, it's going to translate and last you guys and, and treat you guys very well, too. Uh, speaking of holding up, I guess um, you guys are probably wondering about this super antique box here. So let me tell you guys, I... My mother got this thing for me, and I've had it for, I bet you I've had this thing for 20 plus years, 25 years, and it was probably 15 or 20 years old when she acquired it at a yard sale, I believe it was. But when when I see things lasting, man, it's, they just don't make things like they used to. And this is just a, this is just an old workhorse that uh, is, is a good, for instance, this thing, it sounds horrible, and I, it was funny. My brother-in-law was actually over, and I was trying to charge this Never Start battery here yesterday. And uh, I plugged this thing in, and it made the god awfulest noise. And he's like, "What? Better unplug that. You're going to burn the garage down." And it does, guys. It sounds horrible. I feel like I need to show you that it does work. <laughs> it's still in the garage. Maybe I'll show you the sparks. Do this, guys. It's going to spark. Do that. Oh uh, yeah. Charging up that battery. Charging up that never start. And I don't even know what this thing is. Um, but I will unplug it so I don't annoy you guys. I hate to uh, stray from, from Gulu. But I'm going to hope that that Gulu and Gulu products that we use are half as good as whatever this thing is. I mean, it's, it's old. It's rusty. The meter's inside there someplace. Couldn't tell you what button I'm on, but this thing will fire up and it will charge a battery with the best of them. So that's just, uh, that's what we're hoping for guys. And like I said, I know they don't make things like they used to, but if it's in my garage, I can promise you that uh, it's, it's very well used. Anyway guys, I'll get a fan put in that and uh, it'll probably work for another 30 years with another cooling fan in it. But for now it's just gonna annoy me and I'm gonna plug it in, it's gonna make a lot of racket and still charge up what I need to charge. But anyway, guys, uh, here with the Gulu family. Like I said, we've got we've got these in all of our toolboxes. And, and also, like most of the other stuff, guys, you can't really go wrong. If you, if you hook it up backwards, it's gonna tell you, it's gonna beep at you, so it has that protection in there as well. We keep them both, 
uh, and it's they've got a bunch of them out there. Hit up their website, gulu.com. Uh, they've got some amazing deals going on right now for their chargers. So if you don't have one of these in the trunk of your car, I would recommend scooting over and getting one. Just thought I'd share with you guys what we use on the tow trucks, and they work very well for us. They've always they've always got uh, our customers going. But we appreciate you watching. Stay tuned. I'm sure we've got somebody else that's going to need a jump start or some kind of service. If you need us, let us know. Show the proximity to the sign. The sign is right. It's right there. So I don't know. If they had passengers get out and see that and just not care or well, Okay guys, uh, got the red Mustang uh, scooped up in tow, 
Gatlinburg PD behind us. We're going to police impound. You know, it, it happens. It happens almost every morning. I they're they're lined up throughout. There's certain hours that you can park roadside in downtown Gatlinburg, and um, folks just leave their cars. It's crazy. Um, or sometimes they'll just park there. It's it's not about the hours. They just think that they can park roadside and. You just can't do that, guys. Big no-no. So they've called us this morning. There was three of them this morning. And, and uh, like I said, Gatlinburg is amazing. They, they give you a, a lot of leeway. Um, you know, most of the time they'll leave them set there if traffic's not really thick and, and hopes that you'll come and, and get these cars. But this is Saturday morning, and, and uh, we're over here about 9.30, quarter to 10. Traffic is insane. And really starting to cause a big problem so then they call us for the removal so that's what we're doing today uh, by the time we got there the other two had noticed what was going on with the police officer sitting behind them uh, but this one here the lady she actually took off running after us down the sidewalk there say hey that's my car but uh, this one's on its way to the impound so she'll be able to retrieve that from there but just remember that guys don't leave your car sitting alongside the parkway Pay to park. Auto. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, yes. Is this the um, towing company? It is. Yes. Hi. Uh, I'm staying at the Country Inn Suites, and I think we might have parked in the wrong space. Did you tow a um, Chevy Traverse with temporary Ohio plates? Uh, yes, sir. We did. Uh, where is it at? Uh, Two twenty one Newman Road. We, we don't have a, how close is that because we don't well I guess we could take an uber how much is it to get it out uh, it's to the registered owner only you're not getting dollars yes sir. that's ridiculous why so much uh, it's just the fees for illegal park <sighs> okay and what are your hours uh, we're not at the gate at the impound lot on the weekends. If you let me know that you're heading that way, I can uh, just give me kind of a 30 or 40 minute heads up. I can make sure I got somewhere there at the gate to let you in. We'll probably come in about a half hour if I can get a, um, I mean, I, I didn't expect this, so I have to rearrange. I'll call you back and let you give you 30 minute wait and someone can meet us there. Yes. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you. Hi, so we are staying at Country Inn and Suites, and they gave us a, a parking pass to put up on our windshield, but it looks like there's a church that must own part of the Country Inn and Suites parking lot, which is possibly the weirdest thing I've ever heard, and I believe you have towed our car. Okay. My husband just called. So. First, I need to know, do you have the phone number for that church? I mean, I understand you guys are doing a business. That said, dollars for something like that? I mean, we live, we have lived in some pretty big cities. I've never heard of anything that high. That's, that's, that's highway robbery. Okay. I mean, those are- And nice. I, get, I get you can't do anything about that. That's, but, you, I mean, that seems very much like a scam in a tourist city well i assure you it's not a scam um the the place that you parked you parked right in front of the no parking sign i mean it was directly across from your car no yes place. but what it looks like because it's in i would say 12 point lettering on a sign it looks like it is saying no parking for the country and in suites and because we have a pass that we have to put up there you would just think, okay, that's what that is. No. Because the exact same sign is on the park of the country and in suites. And it's sign. no, it says employees only. Um, but, but, okay, so if you're in a parking lot and you go, say you go to a grocery store parking lot and you're parked in front of Kroger, we'll say, do you assume that the sign <laughs> that's in front of you that looks exactly like the sign next to it that says Kroger parking only? You know what I mean? It's just, it all looks like it's part of the same parking lot, which I know is a secured parking lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it doesn't, it's not clear. 
And the woman at the front desk of the hotel says, this is something that happens all the time. That this happens, you know, every day. So frequently that they have a paper that they have printed up to give you the phone number for you guys. You, and from a church, that's pretty hardcore. It's well, I'm going to correct you there. It's, I mean, I know it's not. The, it, is, it is not. It is not the church. Those are numbered parking spots, and employees okay. that work in and around the area rent those so that they have a place to park when they come to work. So if you're in their parking spot when they come to work downtown Gatlinburg, then they cannot go to work, and they miss out on a day's pay because you are in their rented. So you don't. You don't think spot. you should put a larger sign there, or something to alert people? You think? You th I mean, I, I understand everything you're saying, but what I'm saying is if you have part of a parking lot that is a different parking lot, you don't think you want to make sure that people know that? Okay, on the same on the same token, you're telling me that they have a flyer printed up to tell you why couldn't they tell you that you couldn't park there if it's that big of a problem? I, I agree. I agree. And we're going to be talking to their management about that also. It's just we arrived here yesterday, and that is... We're on vacation. I work for the press. I'm here doing a story on on, on Gallenberg, and I'm right and now. We're probably heading back. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're done I mean, because I'm done, okay. and that's pretty. Well, I'm just saying. I mean, I, I understand yeah. you're not going to drop it. You're not going to change it. I, I get that. What I'm telling you is, you've got to realize you must get this call every other day from someone who was parked at, you know, who is, is staying at Country Inn Suites, who thought it was part of the same parking lot and parked because it's all parked up here and you've got the little thing that has to hang down and you just think, oh, okay. You know, but that's, it's, that's but it's not, and, they, and you know, it's private property. You know, you, you just can't park on somebody else's, so you, you, property. So you, but you, and, and, okay, and, and have done everything possible. But you're it's not, a, it's a number, it's a physical. You've done everything possible? <laughs> oh my God, really? So you're, not, you're not even going to let me talk. That? If you're not going to let me talk, I'm just going to hang up on you. Oh, we're going to play this game, huh? So you're going to you're going to do this. Listen, it is a it is a, what more can they do? They, it's a numbered, it's painted on the ground, a numbered spot, and then you parked 12 inches okay, away from a, the sign that says that you cannot it's a do not, it. Okay, How much so you more tell do you me, need? So the, it's a numbered spot, but so are the spots at the country and suites. No, they're not. No, they're not. It, there's they're not no numbered. differentiation. Country and suites is not it's numbered. Not even, it's not even, it's the same concrete. You know what it, I mean? There's not there's like no a numbers. wall or a division or things there's, that you kind of think of as being a division of a parking lot. So if you go, if you go park in your, in your neighbor's park, in your neighbor's yard, just because there's not a, a barrier there, does it, you, you can just do it? If you've purchased a house that has a driveway and half of that driveway is, is in your neighbor's space and you have believed that that driveway is under, that happens all the time also. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't think you. I don't think you do what you've done. I don't. So you think? You know what's. You know what I'm noticing here. You are very good at explaining these things away, which is a sign of a scam artist. So I get it, man. You're a scam artist, and you're gonna laugh, and that's cool, man. So we'll be over there in a little bit. We're gonna give you. We're gonna pick up the car, and then we're leaving. You know what? So I know you don't care. I know, but we'll see it. I'm gonna let my husband do it because you probably don't want to deal with me. Oh, so, I, don't, I don't want to see you later, okay. man. Hey, tell him Monday through Friday. Uh, I'm going home. Anyway, YouTube, um, you heard the conversation there on the, the illegal park that we picked up. And it's, it's always the same. I always hear the same story. Uh, you're a scammer. You're a scammer. Um, you know, a scam would be if the hotel's telling people to park there and then calling us to come and get them or the they park there and then we come magically put a sign up while they're parked there or you know that would be a scam a scam is not you parked in a numbered spot 12 inches from a sign that says that you couldn't and then you're going to tell me that I'm a scam and he's trying to tell me that there's no divider and it looks like the the church, there is a divider. The concrete, it's got a concrete ledge um, that divides the two. And it is, and he's trying to tell me, oh, you know, everything is numbered. It is not. The, uh, the parking lot for the hotel does not have numbers. You know, and then he's trying to say that the church is uh, doing something wrong. And, it, and it's not. They are numbered spots. They are rented. It has nothing to do.
to do with the church. And, and folks always want the number. Well, give me the phone number to the, to the people that own that property. I'm not going to give you the phone number to the, to the property owner so that you can call and harass them. That's, you know, if you can find their information and that's on you, but I'm not going to give you a phone number so you can call and, and harass somebody for something that you've done. But yeah, guys, you know, I get it. He's upset. You know, he's, he's going to say that I'm, I'm running some sort of scam. Um, you know, I don't, they call me. They call me to come and tow away the car that is illegally parked. I, I don't. I'm trying, trying really hard to figure out how that I'm a scam. And, and we get this a lot. You know, I get it. People are mad. They take it out on us. You know, that's that's their go-to. You're you are running a scam. Um, and this guy says he's in town. He's a he's a journalist, and uh, you know he's doing a, a piece on Gatlinburg and how this is gonna. And it might it might very well be a, a thing. But I'm here to tell you, YouTube, we're, thanks to you guys, we're, we're approaching 40,000 subscribers. I don't, I don't know that there would be a better journal, journalism than, <laughs> than me. I do this constantly, and we, and we have all of you followers, and we put this out on video to the world on how this is a parking spot. So, um, you know, don't, don't throw that up to me like. I'm gonna I'm gonna write a piece on this and I'm gonna spread the word. I I've, I've been spreading the word for two years now, so I, I don't, don't don't throw that in front of me. But that's what he's trying to do, guys. Um, you know, I'm I'm trying to be nice about it, letting him pick up his car. It's you know it's on the weekend and after hours, and I try my best to accommodate. But if you're gonna treat us like this, uh, you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bend over backwards for you, and uh, we're not. Harasses saying that we're scam artists, and this, this, that, and the other. But anyway, that's my rant for the day. Um, he still hasn't come to pick up his car. We'll see how that goes. Stick around. You might want to see it. Hi, uh, yes, we called a little bit ago, and we had our uh, car that was towed in from the country in Swedes parking lot with the church, and you know, um, we have to come and get it. And whoever we spoke to said that they would call and have someone at the front gate, but we don't know where the gate is. Can you just tell me what the address? Sure. It is 221 Newman Road. And that's N? Gatlinburg. It's N-E-W? N-E-W-M-A-N. How far is it from the country and do you know? Um, if you're driving, probably 10 minutes. Well, we're going to have to take an Uber because our car was towed, so we just want to make sure. So it's not 221 Newman Road, Gatlinburg? Yes. And then no one's there right now, right? Right. But if I call back, somebody could be there, right? Yeah, just let us know when you're about 30 minutes away. Like, like if you have an Uber on the way to you, just let us know. Okay, perfect. And then it has to be cash, right? Yes. You must get constant complaints about the amount. Well, I mean, it's just that's just the price. Well, it's not your. It's not your. You don't make the price. I know. It's just. It was just jarring to us. We were like, "Whoa, okay, all right." So we'll call back. I just wanted to get the address first, so I knew it. I didn't know if it was all the way to Knoxville or if it was local in Gatlinburg. No, so no, no, it's just right there in like right there within Gatlinburg city limits. Yeah, thank goodness it's local. So okay, all right, we'll give a call then when we're half hour out. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Mm, bye. How much do you expect it to be? Just trying to figure it out. Like you said, we're right in line with Gallenberg's prices. Mm -hmm. So I'm still back on the scam subject. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it gives me a hard time because I laugh. I, guys, I can't help but laugh. I mean, you're <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna yell and scream at me about something like this, and it's just it's so crazy to me that I you know I'm I'm just gonna laugh at you. I'm gonna laugh at you every time. Uh, but <laughs> don't so don't you think if it was a scam, you know this goes back to the journalism and uh, him writing the piece and spreading the word and this and that. Like I said, we're 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 approaching uh, forty thousand subscribers, and this is this is just the folks that have clicked the button and smashed it. I, I've I've gotten phone calls that have have been you know I've told my aunt, my uncle, my uncle's brother told his kids and. Uh, we get this a lot about the parking spot. I know, you know, where to park at now, thanks to your channel. Um, so, 
I'm not hiding anything, guys. I don't. And 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 also, if you don't you think if I was running a scam, I wouldn't parade this to the world. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't have a YouTube channel getting the word out to everybody that could possibly watch YouTube if I was running a scam. But I you know I get it, guys. I do. He's he's mad. He's mad, and and I am the I'm the target of the anger. And, but come on, come up with something better than the scam. I just get just get kind of numb to hearing the you're a scam artist, you're a scum. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, guys, I don't know. Did you say you were scum? I, well, I've heard that. Okay. If, if, if I didn't hear it a few Today. times from somebody saying it, then I've heard it in a, an email or a private message or, uh, you know, it's... I'm just doing my job, and the majority of our followers and the world realizes that that's, you know, they call us, call us to do a thing, and we're doing our job. Everybody wants to complain about pricing and things like that. You've, you've got to have constant complaints about this pricing. I, I promise. Our pricing is right in line with, with anything else uh, in the Gatlinburg area or any other city, county. Uh, you know, if you handicap park, those are the fees. Our fees are the same as, as if you park in... Gatlinburg or the city has you towed, it's the same fee. It's the same fee. I'm not, there's, there's nothing out of line there. And it's, and I understand you don't want to pay the fee, but if you didn't want to pay the, pee, the fee, you may have, maybe you should have looked at the sign. And, uh, yeah, this guy, you know, he wants to say that the, the, the lettering is, is weird. It's a weird font or, uh, it was too small, or you know, I'll, I hear every excuse under the under the sun. And this this is one of the occasions that do make you kind of grin a little bit because it wasn't it wasn't he parked and the sign was the next spot over the next spot over or even five spots over. He parked right in front of the sign. I mean, this thing is a foot away from the car, so I don't know what to tell you. If you can't read normal lettering, and if you can't read a sign that is a foot away from your car, I don't know what to tell you. I don't. But uh, anyway, he said he was sending his spouse. He would be uh, he would be better to deal with than than him. He's upset. I don't know which one's going to be harsher on us. Maybe they'll both come. Maybe they'll both bring the hammer down on us when they get there. But anyway, he just called back trying to find an Uber. Uh, so we're still wait awaiting the phone call. We're at the gate. So stay tuned. <laughs> I'm still at it. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to point out the fact that I would expect no less from a journalist than a severely bashing review dogging our business so stick around I'll post that one I am 100% sure that that's coming <laughs> before the day's over it's going to be a uh, a zero star review with a news flash of how awful we are uh, stick around for that everything auto hi yes we had our car towed and um, we were told that we could meet someone there if we had the cash and we are having uber on our way to pick us up so we're hoping someone can meet us there i think they said give you 30 minutes notice okay oh uh, yeah we'll get a truck headed over to the gate okay good thank you thank we'll, we'll be there thanks so much oh. bye how are you guys good we're here to get um chevy traverse with ohio temporary plate on it yes uh you're the registered owner yeah he's right there I'm his okay. husband. Okay. I just need to make sure his also, ID. We have, oh, you need, we need your ID. You've got the keys. Well, you'll see when we have the keys that it's ours, right? <laughs> well, I hope I hope so. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll bring it up here to the oh, gate. okay. Yeah. Like I said, guys, I'm sorry. Sorry this happened to you. I uh, I assure you it's uh, not a good thing, but... Uh, well, I'm spending that money on vacation. So. Oh, I got you. I got you. No, those are just the 
just the cost and, and the fees for uh you said it's a church though that owns that lot it's it is it's actually they rent those spots out to employees that are in and around the area i mean yeah wow. it's uh no i mean i don't blame you guys it's just well we appreciate that I, we appreciate I, that i do wish the hotel had been it was 9 59 this morning no, it was last night, PM. Last night. Yeah. 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 yeah they, they they called in late last night, yeah. and uh, the funny thing is, so they had been the hotel was like, oh, make sure you hang that. But if they had just gone up to the hotel, they could have. Yeah. yeah. They've tried that before, easy. and they've had altercations and stuff, and so they just. Are you driving? They don't. Yeah, they usually don't. Okay. But uh, yeah, that's kind of crazy. Yep. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you, guys. Got the tight lip on that one. Those are the things that I would like to know, though. Things that we were going over. How, uh, what's the lettering on the sign need to look like? How close does the sign need to be? How big does the parking curb that separates the parking lots need to be? He's saying the parking lots look the same. Do they, does the pavement need to be different colors? Um, what else was he complaining about? that he didn't complain about when he was here to pick up his car. He said that the hotel parking lots were num parking spots were number two, and they're not. They have the hotel emblem in the yeah. parking Yeah, and I explained that to him, and he said no, that that was, uh, that was not true, which it is true. We've, yes. They're not. And um, they didn't know. There was poor lighting. There was, we, we could see it pretty well in the picture that was sent to us after dark last night. So we could see the sign and everything. Yeah, it's very well lit. Very well lit over there, guys. There's street lights and then you have your headlights and stuff. So, um. I guess I was hoping to get these questions answered when he came. Uh, like I said, guys, he was very, uh, very confrontational over the phone. Just completely, uh, you see the one the one guy say <laughs> uh, so maybe they did a little a little question asking or calling before they came over but they were very tight-lipped when they got here so I wasn't I wasn't able to get any of those questions answered from them what they thought that it should look like what they thought that it should be what color what lighting what you know there's a lot of things that he was he was pushing off to me like it was it was my it was my fault that all this stuff happened. Um, just not able to get any of, any of it answered. They uh, just uh, the hush hush get in the car and uh, and paid and they're gone. So sorry guys, didn't get any information on that one. Uh, but uh, was a little a little interesting on the on the phone calls, none the least. <laughs> Stick around, guys. Uh, we appreciate you watching. We're over here at the lot today. It's Saturday. It's probably going to be crazy. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more of those people parking where they're not supposed to on this uh, beautiful Saturday. But uh, appreciate you guys. Uh, smash that subscribe button, like button, and uh, make sure your notifications turned on. Don't want to miss out on any of the videos coming up in the future. Uh, we did get hats back in stock, guys. Uh, limited supply on those. If you haven't got one, make sure you go over to the merch link and uh, grab yourself a hat. We're still working on t-shirts. I do apologize. It's been a timely process on t-shirts, but we'll get those hopefully here before uh, fall hits. But, uh, appreciate you guys. Stick around. Okay, guys. I don't know who you are, <laughs> where in the world out there you are, but this uh, anonymous box of goodies showed up for everything auto today and inside is an awesome variety of toys so guys in this one we've got dump trucks school buses bulldozers box trucks gas trucks cement trucks oh that's cool that's a little tow truck right there and a police and police cars and ambulance and and these are really cool. I don't know if you can see those in the video, but they're little wind-up uh, wind cars. They look like they're kind of neon, and I uh, always love these. Get these caught up in your hair. It's good stuff. <laughs> Keep it away from your beard. <laughs> oh, wind up. And to top it all, an SOG. So now, so now what am I gonna do? I got a sharp knife to cut um, crash wrap and, um, 
I don't know, a lot of things. You guys are over the top, man, I'm telling you. I wish I knew who it was, but uh, anonymous. Amazon Fulfillment Services to me and all the tag says is good. So whoever you are, wherever you are, you're amazing. Thank you so much. The kids, uh, we were just talking about this the other day, like the variety, that's, uh, to be able to just hand them and let them pick out what they want is gonna be really cool. Um, so uh, we, this will get inventoried in, uh, and, uh, in and around the trucks and it'll be great. And I will, wow, I don't know what I'll do with a sharp knife. That's, I won't even get into that, but thank you. We appreciate you and the kids. We'll give you big smiles. The only problem with the cool new knife is you gotta have a knife to open the knife. And that one's, it still has what it takes. Look at that. Uh-huh. Anyway, knife to open up. Look at that mangy looking thing. Cool new, look at that safety tab off there. Can't be having that, can't stab nobody with that on there. Sweet, awesome, thank you.